the righty folks. I'm looking back at this poll that's about eight days ago now, and uh, I already reviewed Matteo Guendouzi and Kimmich cards, but somehow Leon Bailey has edged into the lead here. And with the games coming up soon and the price on them dropping, figured I might as well go ahead and get a hold of this Leon Bailey card and try it out. Um, the main reason I was excited for this card is because I had a manager career at one point where Leon Bailey stuck with me in a, I don't remember where we were at, maybe a Serie B team or something, and helped us out a lot, so it was interesting. this is his first promo card of the year, so we got to give him a try. Go through the card real quick, 510 high low, 4 star 4 star, that's probably fine, um, high low I don't mind, um, I'll have to check what his body type is, because he should... Um, he has pretty tight dribbling stats, but let me see real quick if it says what his body type is on Footbin. Okay, it says he has an average body type, so that's not ideal, um, but we'll see how it feels in game. Looking at this one, I was not able to get a fresh one, so 32 games played for three goals and eight assists. Uh, whoever was using it before did not have a good showing with him. Stats-wise, you got the pace. Dude's got a hunter on him. Probably don't need a hunter, probably would rather have a hawk or something, but we'll try him with the hunter first. Helps his shooting out, his shooting is kind of a low point for someone that's a striker at this stage in the game. Passing is yeah, usable, I think he's got some play styles to back it. The dribbling is probably the highlight of the card, along with the pace. 80 composure though, oh, man, that doesn't look great. 71 heading accuracy. 82 jumping. I mean, he's 5'10", so I don't think he's going to win that much. No strength or aggression. Uh, especially for someone with an average body type. That does not look good. This right here is what you're in the card for. I mean, uh, Aston Villa could very well win the final. So, if that's the case, you're looking at a much better card. But, uh, depends on what playstyle plus they give him. Looking at the playstyles, ping pass plus is okay. I actually like that whipped pass got some ball control stuff uh, quick step rapid combo Travella uh, you really like to see at least like power shot basic or finesse shot basic or something here to give him that scoring potential but maybe he'll surprise us we're gonna take him in this little team um, we got that uh, from the most recent poll we got Del Piero and Musiala in here working on this Florenzi Evo so, we're going to get some clips to see how he does. All right. Got the little 4 2 three, one with Leon up top. Ooh, we'll see what this guy's team looks like. Uh, Shevchenko, okay. He's got the better Torre. First owner, nice. Shevchenko pushed us up into the next division on that win streak, so... Might be facing some tougher opponents now. We'll see how it goes. Leon. Ooh. Okay. Wow. I think that was the first time Leon got the ball. And he randomly sneaks in this dumb angle. Power shot. Okay. Okay. Good pass there from Leon. Oh, and he's making a good run too. Can we hit a... Oh, didn't take the best cut back there. His positioning is kind of odd here, though, because now he's dropped back. Mmm, good cut out. Whew. He's not going to be happy about these, these angled power shots. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Coming out of the half here, it'll be interesting to see if I can look at this real quick. Man has four fouls committed and three yellow cards to the first half. He's just sliding on everything. But Leon Bailey hasn't touched the ball enough to really tell how good he is here. Okay, um, I guess dude's not feeling this one. Uh, let's see how yeah, Bailey's dribbling feels, I guess, since dude's not really here right now. <laughs> does not feel good. Hmm. 
And the strong foot finesse doesn't even go on target. I guess that's what you get for not having the finesse shot trait. I don't think Leon Bailey is really going to get in position for a cross. Okay, he's kind of in one. Oh, well. Luciala didn't exactly put that where I wanted it. Oh, huge gap for him. Come on, show me some more pace than that, man. Thought he was just going to burn him with that gap. Hmm. Did not take off like I was expecting. That average body type kind of holds him back a little bit. Okay, here he is. He runs back onto this one. He does get upfield quick. Leon. Oh! Okay, wow. He had a big gap, and I uh, wasn't exactly expecting that header from him. Florenzi with the assist, too. It's actually a good header. I like those downward ones. Mm. Leon gets back to that, but he just... He doesn't have the strength to muscle somebody off. He doesn't, also doesn't have the agility to just snake around someone with the average body type, so... Not really sure how I feel about him yet. Alrighty, second match here. Oh, I love shooting on the Finistral. Oh, wow. Okay, quite a good team. Overdorf at one of the center back spots, too. Uh, Leon had two goals in his first game. Uh, we're not really using an A team here. We have all the wins we need, so we're not really trying to win. Just need to see if this Leon card's any good. But hopefully, this defense will be a good test for him. Can we actually get any footage of Bailey this game? Okay, here's Bailey on the wing. Oh, whipped pass. Oh, Del Piero just com completely choked that, but it was actually a decent cross from Leon. All right. Oh, Leon with some space. Let's see if he's got the pace. Oh, has the good pace there. Oh, kind of an odd shot animation, but he does put it on, at least. Ooh, Leon wins that header again and puts it on target. I don't know why he's winning headers. He doesn't have the jumping, and he's 5'10", but he's winning them. Idea of how good this Bailey card is, but I don't see him doing that for me. Okay, big gap there. Oh, what a clinical slide. That's Lucio. What a clinical slide. Leon already queued the shot up. Here he is with it again. Let's see if we can get a cross in. Got a couple guys. Oh, yeah, good cross. Oh. These crosses have all been pretty accurate, to be fair. Bailey's got pace. <laughs> This, I mean, guys, I can't make this up. Dude has the most meta team possible. I mean, literally every position, full meta, team of the years, icons only, everything. I'm giving, I'm walking into my own net with balls to give him the free win. He's up 5-0. And just the prospect of me running through on goal will make him pull the plug. I mean, truly, this Rivals community, you can't make this up, man. You cannot make this up. Alrighty. We're about an hour before content now. So hopefully the gameplay is at least decent. Try to get another game with uh, Leon Bailey here. Plan on giving this guy the win. I already have all the, the wins I need. Um, okay, yeah, a little interesting team. A lot of people using this uh, Bruno Fernandez card. Interesting team. We'll see how this goes. Leon's got his hand out. Ooh. Still put that on after the deflection from Virgil, but I didn't really have high hopes for him to get around Virgil there. Able to find Bailey. Virgil's able to get a block on it again. Oh, didn't. 
I didn't realize how far Alley was pulling Ederson. Oh, and he still gets back in position in time. Leon Bailey does say he's off injury now. Oops. No chance. Yeah, it's just, if you have Virgil back there, it's a, it's, you're playing a completely different game. Like, you're not playing FIFA or EAFC. You're playing Where's Virgil. It's like Where's Waldo, except it's way worse. Okay. Ready? We got to play Where's Virgil here. Keep an eye on Virgil. Nobody take your eyes off Virgil. We can't put... Oh, see? Virgil's still in position. We got to go around him. Marquinhos? No problem. I mean, I'm skirting past Marquinhos. And... Where's Virgil? I mean, he's making the most glitched scripted stops there. That's insane. That's a good thing we were going to give this guy the win anyway. Oh, Virgil's out of position. Virgil's out of position. <laughs> the one time we catch Virgil out of position, Leon does finish that with his strong foot. Yeah, I mean, like I was saying, you, you can't attack through him. You cannot... It makes me wonder how many less goals I would concede if I just always ran my Virgil. But it's all good. It's really disheartening playing these teams where their entire team's Virgil. Like, the entire team is just built around Virgil tackling somebody. Look, if Virgil misses the tackle, it's a free goal. It, if you don't press a button with Virgil, he'll just stop it every single time. You have to make the mistake because the actual Virgil card is going to be flawless. Alrighty, folks. Three games in with this Leon Bailey card. Three goals and an assist for me. Um, in some pretty sweaty rivals matches. Um, and, you know, a uh, uh, Where's Virgil simulator match there at the end, which I don't think I really got any clips of, of Bailey from. But going over this card real quick before we say what we thought about him. 510, high, low, four star, four star. All of that feels pretty good. The dribbling isn't so elite that you feel like you should be doing skills with him, but uh, the high-low is actually pretty cool. The weak foot was fine, too. I tried to put, like, finesses on with his left, but at least one of those goals he scored with his right. So, gotta give him that. And he's put a header in, so that's pretty cool. Uh, can play on the right wing. We wanted to try him on the right wing more. He was kind of floating out there anyway. His crosses did come in pretty well. The stats... Um, the, the pace doesn't feel that crazy. It might be, like, it's the obviously average body type. So it didn't feel, like, literally maxed, like it would look. Um, the shooting was kind of above what it says on the card. I was Some of the shots were surprising. And the finishing, I guess it is getting boosted by 100, but the finishing was good. Passing was good. Ping pass plus, you know. Is it the playstyle plus I would pick? No, but... It will help him in the passing department. The dribbling did not feel great. Um, this may, you know, 91 agility, 90 balance, 90 base dribbling. You would think that the dribbling was crazy, but it's just a body type thing. I mean, if he had those dribbling stats on like a short and lean body type, or even just a lean, he would feel much better. The heading accuracy was good. He put that header on for me. I like the ground headers. You know, they're really hard to stop. Physicality, the stamina wasn't an issue. He's not going to have the strength to body anybody, but you're not expecting that. And the aggression wasn't really an issue. High-low work rate. Um, compared to that last card I used, that Shevchenko with low aggression, Bailey did move off the ball faster or give and go faster. So I don't think that aggression was an issue. You're in this card for the upgrades. I mean, you know, he's an 86 this late in the game. You're not really expecting to get the most use out of him, but you're also assuming maybe a plus three is in the cards. Even if they just go to the semifinal, you're looking at a plus three there. Play styles, good assortment. You would like to see a shooting one, um, or maybe a better passing one. Maybe like a incisive or something would have been really nice. Uh, press proven would have also been great to have on. It might make his dribbling feel a little better. But are overall a decent assortment. So, I mean, what do we think of this card? Obviously, we're not using him in a meta team and doing any sort of sweaty tryhard stuff with him. But I think it was a yeah, an overall decent card. The finishing surprised me. 
the passing didn't leave, let me down. Um, and, you know, you get a couple upgrades on this card, especially if it's, the rumors are true and that first upgrade takes them to 88, then you may have a pretty elite card here. But as for right now, obviously doesn't fit, doesn't fit well in this late of a meta. Got him for 180. If we compare, I'm assuming he's probably not much. Oh, <laughs> wow. There's one for 170 that's not even going to sell. Oh, no. Yeah, so he may be sinking further. 167 that's not selling. Yeah, so these cards are sinking fast, guys. Uh, so you may want to scoop one of these when it gets lower down, if it's a card you're interested in. Um, or if you're speculating, Aston goes all the way in the Conference League, which is very possible. So overall, I mean, I'm biased towards him because I'd like to see a good Leon Bailey card. Um, and he did have some moments of surprise for me, but not the best card for right now in this meta. You kind of got to be an Aston fan maybe to be using him or, or something like that, especially at the price point. Now, if he gets closer to 150, you know, may not be that bad of a deal, but I, you know, I can't put this card along, especially at striker. I can't compare him to, you know, Zola or Cantona or um, even that Shevchenko. I would gladly play at striker over this card. So maybe he's better on the wing. You know, if you've tried this card, let me know. If you played him out wide, I'm sure he can get that job done for you. And if you think Aston's going to go all the way, let me know because this card seems like it would be a good deal for how cheap he is if Aston do go all the way. You know, you end up with the five star, five star card. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good one. Hope you have some uh, better rivals games than I had to deal with today.